I suppose first and foremost it's a love story and um, also I think it's a very human story about choices that we make in life that have consequences uh, but whether those choices are good or bad and certainly in this film they have both positive and negative effects that we as human beings how we deal with those choices and, and the people that are involved in those choices, how they forgive and um, and how good people do bad things, I suppose, really. How good people make bad choices. And um, and that's the nice thing about this story. I think it's it's everyone is very real and uh, and essentially good people. There's a choice that is made, I suppose, about a third of the way in, into the story, which has reverberations, and human consequences. And it's about how, how a town, first of all, how, how two people deal with it, and then how a whole town deals with it, and various characters that, um, that are affected directly by it. Absolutely, the core of it and Tom and Isabel's love story is, uh, you know, so beautifully told both in the book and with uh, Derek's script. Uh, you know, the, it, the script had me moved to tears and the book more than once. Uh, and you know, how strong a sort of bond of love can be and how it does break down. You know, so without it sounding like a cliche, how it's sort of, you know, there are no holes in love that are, is that strong. And this story tells that in a very beautiful way. Uh, but also there's other things, you know, that are sort of intertwined in that love story, which I think makes it very interesting as well. Isabel's love and her freshness and her naivety and her innocence really kind of reawakens those things in Tom and allows him to sort of take the chance to risk opening up his heart and, and allowing himself to be sort of vulnerable, which is, I think, in itself a very sort of moving part of the story. He's got a passion for film, so he comes to set with that passion. I think, you know, he's a kind of director that doesn't like to leave any stone unturned. And he's got a real love for actors and performance. So you really feel like he's got your back and there's a, a great sense of trust. And the actors involved have been an exceptional cast. Alicia is a real sort of force of nature. Um, she's an amazing actor. And so it's been a real joy to be working with her, especially in the circumstances that we are running long takes. A lot of the script, it's just the two of us. And so, yeah, that's been, yeah, keeping me on my toes, trying to keep up with her. And um, then, you know, Jack Thompson, obviously Rachel Weisz, I mean, Brian Brown, you know, the list goes on. A lovely sort of plethora of young, new actors as well that I haven't seen before. And a great, I think always, it's great to see that. And again, very grateful for Derek, or very grateful to Derek for, for hiring unknowns. And again, great filmmakers understand the need to give new, hungry talent a chance. And when the boat washes up on shore, it's a very particular place that their relationship is in, and that does inform the decisions that they make on that beach. Especially Tom's, I think, you know, in terms of what he sees is happening to their relationship, what's happened to her, 
as I said at the beginning of this, what, you know, how deeply injuring that is for a woman to lose a child and to have a repeat process of that. And so, um, yeah, that's, it's a very, it's very particular um, scenario that they're in, you know, being on the island. And it's that thing of what can be sort of paradise can quickly turn into a prison. The introduction of this child into one couple's life is the beginning of a whole new chapter for them. And, uh, you know, meanwhile on the mainland, you have Hannah, who has lost her husband and her child in one fell swoop, and how she has to cope with that and her reality. And then the understanding of both women. Again, that's what I'm saying about, you know, good people and the sort of complexity of what happens in life without like this judgment of uh, that this, this is good and this is bad. No, it's life and these things happen in life. And it's actually how we deal with them that defines us as characters. How Hannah deals with Isabel and how Isabel ultimately deals with Hannah and, you know, and Lucy in the middle of it, both of them, their sacrifice and their willingness to sacrifice their own selfishness towards that child and what they need from that child for the good of the child, I think is, um, is again very encouraging and, and hopeful for us as human beings and, and what we're capable of doing to the good. I think as human beings, when we see something on screen that we can relate to, and hopefully people see Tom, hopefully people see Isabel and themselves, that's when I think cinema is at its most powerful, not when there's characters on screen that we can't reach and we can't touch, and so are so far removed from ourselves. I think films that reflect and are some, in some ways are a mirror to, to ourselves, then we really walk away with... Um, ideas of us as human beings and hope for us as human beings, I think. Okay, Star Wars fans, for Return of the Jedi, did you know that Harrison Ford suggested that Han Solo sacrifice his life to save his friends? But George Lucas declined. What do you think would have been a good idea? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. Or for more trailers, click on the playlist. <laughs>